always faster than the Ponitas, and I would one hit them. Yeah, I uh, I don't remember. I kind of remember them sucking. I mean, it's been a very long time, and most of this trip down memory lane has been a bit of a haze, just trying to get through it. Just saying, they, whoever told the Ponitas it was okay to be this smart was an asshole. I mean, they've definitely updated this considerably since um, since I played it as a kid. I don't remember even half of this shit. And you know, there's got to be people out there who... Uh, who actually, you know, know this inside and out, and they are going to kick my ass as soon as I go into PvP stuff. I've actually had For a little weird, while. Do you just get weird trade requests and PvP requests just out of nowhere in cities? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I was worried on the off chance that might be uh, people just trying to scam you. I don't know. I just don't want to be a dick, but it's like. Um, it's like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for all of this. Well, you can, you can be a pussy. Just take it from everyone. You can be an asshole who shits on everybody. Or you can be a dick and fuck the pussies and the assholes. America, fuck yeah. Fitting. Although I don't think it's about democracy anymore. I think now it's about making sure little girls in Afghanistan learn how to read. No, it's about engraving the word democracy on every single bullet before we fire it. Oh, democracy. That slippery little weasel. Mm Mm-hmm. It's just the spirit of the nature. Of the thing. You know? What do you mean I use so many words it's meaningless? No, no. I I was like, that's, um... I don't know, is ontological something I can say on Twitch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I, 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 the, the, I believe that the Twitch audience is not receptive to words that have more than four syllables i mean i'm not really receptive to the word ontological either but uh you you just you just fundamentally got at the nature of the thing i guess i'll say it that way funny because if you had said ontology they would have all been like oh i know exactly what he's talking about i don't know dude i think that i think again i i would not be so quick to underestimate the twitch audience because uh, I have seen some stuff on here that I am convinced had to be some kind of like intensive performance art. Like it, it, it has to be. Maybe. I, I, I feel like uh, what's it called? That one Dungeons and Dragons realm, like in the earth where like gravity is pulling you in every direction, so you don't really feel pulled in any direction. Enlighten me. Oh, okay, no, I remember. Yeah, okay, yeah, I guess kind of like that in the way that any direction can be up if you've got a direction to go in. Yeah. Hey, drama. That's me, MC Drama, Master of Ceremonies Drama. Uh, good. I feel like we have direction again. It's good. Master Commander. Hey, I never is Master Chief actually an MC also? That guy from Halo? Um, not, His I name mean, was no, Master not, Chief. Not in, a, not in our sense, no. I mean, I feel like he probably at some point wrote down his initials and was like, this is me. 
I thought he was like some sort of technocratic bioengineered super soldier that didn't really have a name. His name's John. See, in death, the master of ceremonies has a name. <laughs> His name. He hasn't died. Every time, everyone assumes he died because the explosion looks big enough, and everyone's like, I think that one was big enough. That one destroyed a galaxy. I think that one was big enough. I think he died in that one. Every single time. And then it's like, nope, Zoop, I use the explosion as a black hole, and I'm somewhere else now. It's just like, bro... <laughs> I think we're on Halo 6 or 7. How many times can he escape like a fucking solar system exploding death ring? 16, at least. 16 times? Oh my lord. At least. It's impressive. I'm impressed. Yeah. Mm Dude. I'm sorry, I had an entire intro and then I completely forgot to do it because I got swept up in what y'all were saying. Um, <laughs> Good. Welcome to episode four. You guys hear about that, uh, that pedo teacher? Actually, this is something more like episode eight or nine. I've been keeping track as I log the recordings for uh, later editing and cleaning up. But uh, did y'all hear about that Miss Teacher Bangs a Boy in our own backyard? No, that's bad. Yeah, she's getting a... At least least we're not outsourcing that. Yeah, she's getting a 20-week sentence for a three-year sexual affair with a student that she started on Fortnite. Let me rephrase that. She didn't... They did. Basically, she was his teacher, and then they started chatting on Fortnite. She was going through a divorce. You see, she she's the victim, and uh, so you think that's going to be a disclaimer on EA Sports games? Now they're going to be like, "Are you, are you a teacher? You are banned from our game." I mean, you know, honestly, I just think that teachers should be banned from playing video games or using any of this social stuff, anything that makes their life hell. You, are, you have so a smart. very anti-teacher in general. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not anti-teacher. You're so smart. You should teach people something. But honestly, if you Wait. are a teacher, you shouldn't be on Fortnite. <laughs> I mean, I'd say, I'd go further and say, like, you know, if you are a teacher, you definitely shouldn't have sex with children. In fact, I'd go further than that and say that, you know, you shouldn't, like, no one should have sex with children. Okay, yeah, I guess I should have prioritized that instead of Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't care. Well, if, you're, if you're having like sex with night. children, then you're you're, you're like... clearly not showing the maturity, or what's the word? Modernity? Is that the right word? Of an adult? Like, yeah. like you, you haven't thought through what you're doing. It's and, it, like, if, if, if it's worth it to have sex with this person because you care about them, that, like then shouldn't you wait until having sex with them won't have a negative impact on them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you care about them. And then also, like, uh, uh, how long have you been alive that you're this teacher? Have you not developed the wisdom yet to realize that, like, waiting two, four, ten years or whatever for the person that you're supposedly in love with to grow up to be at an age where interacting with them in a sexual level doesn't depreciate their potential like growth uh um it, it, like the, the, the trade-off would be you wait 10 years but then for the next 50 to 60 to 70 years or whatever of the relationship that person is not like emotionally traumatized because you had sex with them as a child right right. i think this like, is a, those, almost those are things that an adult, those are things that an adult would there. think about that's burying the lead focusing on sport night that really is very no no that is true i um i resent it i still stand by it but um i i guess it's it's more that i just expect so little at this point 
that I'm just like, okay, just keep them off of Fortnite and put a, put a camera up all their asses. I guess someone has to teach these kids. Yeah, go play Apex Legends, teachers. Stop playing Fortnite. I don't know. Get a cousin. Get a husband. Have kids. Get hobbies. You're an adult. I mean, I am too, but I also don't want to teach children. I don't want to be respected or like given that level of responsibility. But they do, so they have to, you know, meet a standard. I mean, I want to be respected, but I don't know if it matters to be respected by three-year-olds. Oh no, I bet this guy has no guard and he's going to punch me while I'm flying. Mother... I don't know, though. Again, I feel like we're being... I, this is another example of how we've become far too open as a society. Um, I don't even like the idea of entertaining the possibility that there is any ethical way that anyone could uh, proceed about doing that. Like, even uh, even if we give them the benefit of the doubt and, and say, okay, this 12-year-old has some sort of magical connection with this 35-year-old. Finally, someone sees me for who I am. Um, just just fiating away the obvious psychological damage that's been done to both of them to even put them in the spot. Uh, let's, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's essentially that's essentially like the 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 argument that I'm posing is like on the line. You're going all the way back to like the beginning of the line, and and that that's how I feel. Somebody reaches a conclusion that it's okay for them to have sex with a child. That the person who's thinking that that's okay, something happened to them, and they're not okay. And that, like, they they don't see that it's not okay. They don't see that they're not acting with the maturity of an adult, with the thought that it takes to be an adult, to be in a position where you can think about when you have sex, what are the consequences? Is pleasure one of them? Yeah, pleasure can be one of the consequences of sex. There's people who don't have pleasure when they have sex because they're not wanting to have sex and it's forced on them, like in rape and stuff like that. That, that that's also a potential outcome. Can you have a baby? Yeah. Can you have a miscarriage? Yes. Can you have a Harlequin baby? Yes. This is all reality. It's statistics. It it a truth. It's there. It can happen. It happens. You can look it up on the internet. But people don't think about that. People are like, I might feel good getting a blowjob. Let's have sex. Yeah, my attitude is just don't do it and to like take the teacher and set them aside and just calmly but firmly ask, what the hell is wrong with you? And then before they can answer, you catapult them out the window. There we go. Now like, you're this talking. Is, it's, it's a very black and white <laughs> subject from my perspective. I I think it's interesting that like for certain topics people are so like uh yeah push them off the plane, and for certain subjects people are like willing to like look the other way like m maybe they might do the same thing that's wrong if they were in the situation of the person who did the thing that's wrong. Right. It, it feels almost like they're trying to say like you know like well I don't want to be punished if I do it. Right. I just, I, I guess it's even beyond that, any punishment or even, like, even beyond any kind of moral qualms about it. My initial thought is, how the fuck could you possibly not be annoyed by a child? How, how yeah, can you, how can you even, <laughs> how can you even mentally, like, cognitively even begin? Yeah, no shit, man. Yeah. Well, you, uh, again, it's still reflecting the whole thing that, like, only it, only an immature person has a child and doesn't think about stuff like that. But just by nature, what a child is, I, I, I didn't come up with this. Uh, this was, uh, what's his name? Uh, DeGrasse Tyson. Uh, uh, by the nature of what a child is, a child is chaos. A child doesn't know anything. A child is curious and is trying to figure it out. A child is meant to interact with stuff. If you stop a child from making a mess, a child won't figure out how stuff works. If you if a child does what you expect the child to do to just sit there in the corner, be quiet, stay still, and read books, they they're not gonna develop to their full. Like they're not gonna develop the aspects that make us us, like 
curiosity and junk like that. Uh, uh, they're ima- being imaginative, coming up with concepts it's like that. That part of the child will be suppressed. But people don't think about that. People want a child to be a full fucking grown adult that understands adult ideas and shit like that. People want a child that you can talk to and the child obeys. Yeah, that's a good point. I just just chemically castrate them. I don't I just no debate necessary. Although, yeah, kids are not. That's the whole thing with this whole death of innocence bit, you know, from Mar- Marcus Marcus, I believe, um, and other like Marxist theorists who believe that you should use sexuality to like end innocence. And, and it's funny because they do sort of always hearken to. Uh, the fascists and the existentialists and their obsession with preserving innocence and beauty and pastoralism. And it's like, you know, the whole death of innocence thing isn't about just like diddling your butthole when you're a kid or like becoming, you know, soiled or whatever. It's realizing that there are consequences for your actions. It's ending your naivete. It's realizing the ugly truth about the world. It's not having your teacher show you what fucking the definition of queer is right. like the whole thing has a, has a nefarious motive from the get go. You shouldn't be shocked that you're going to be attracting people who, uh, who want to do certain things. Apparently there's another teacher that also got out released after 18 years of his 250 year prison sentence. Wow. Yeah. They're just letting them out now. That's crazy. We used to chemically castrate dudes just for being gay. Yeah, that's true. For some reason, you know, we're just going to have to accept this. I, I, sorry to completely go off on it. It's not even time. This non sequitur. Uh, I didn't realize Diglu Death is a 31 IV, speed IV <laughs> Diglett. They're Doug Trio, and he's got a sand veil that makes him like. 20% more evasive in sandstorms. So if you if you are building that sand team and you're interested in using him to breed a better Doug Trio, r- just remind me. Uh, I'll throw him over because I'm using him as an HM slave. I didn't even realize he was like insanely fast. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't even know what I'm going to do, honestly. Right at this point, I'm just clearing through whatever the in-game content is. Although, I don't know, what you told me about Baton Pass not working kind of makes me wonder. Yeah, the, the the Sandstorm team still sounds pretty decent. But based on what you were discussing with me the other day, it sounded like it still works very good. And I really like the idea of 20% evasiveness, especially as, like, not necessarily, like, just for PvP, like, in, in, in regular game mode, you, you you know that's already pretty good one in five chance to dodge uh and then minimize every stage of minimize adds a uh multiplier to that so it, it would double it so from one in five it would become two and five if you minimize again it would become i believe four and five is that how that works and it'd be three times Something like that. No, it'd be three out of five. So you get up to 80% evasiveness. That's pretty crazy. Sorry, I was distracted by a function that is yet to be implemented. You have no idea what the function even is. It just says... It's some secret base thing. I assume it's not implemented. I'm just going to keep going again. Eyes on the end goal. Eye on the prize. I don't remember. What stat does Lucario raise? I don't know. I think he's a physical attacker. So maybe attack? No, but he's steel and fighting, so maybe defense. I 
no clue. I wish I knew. I wish I knew a lot of things. And take a risk here. I'm going to switch into Umbreon because I have a Gyarados out, and I'm assuming the Sucario is going to avoid doing fighting type against flying. I wish I could trust her when she says the baby that she's having, and that's why she can't go to prison isn't the child, and it's actually her ex-husband's or whomever, but... I thought you were talking about Poke MMO for a second. I think he was. <laughs> it's all bled together at this point, honestly. We live in a desert. Gengar, you shadow of all. Bro, your Gengar needs psychic. Well, no, I don't know. You already you got like coverage for shit. Are you oh. picked up a Breloom already? A what? You picked up a Breloom, Breloom whatever yes, it's called. I did. Why is it snowing? Wait, it's not snowing. This it's is just. Ash. These are chemtrails. No, it's chemtrails from uh, GPG. If I remember correctly, you can collect it. Like, you have to talk to someone and they give you a jar and you can collect it and turn it into flutes that have different effects when you play them. <laughs> right, because of the heavy metals. Probably. Or... Chemicals. That's going to take too long. The chemicals transformed all of the uh, Pokemon into mutants. Uh, I'm not going to sing the song and explain it. That's going to take way too long. <laughs> oh, it was the X-Men intro. The 90s yeah. one, right? <laughs> I, yeah. I'm so bad at pop culture, honestly. Yikes. God, these chemtrails are just freaking me out. The entire Pokemon world, though, I think I think we established already that they're they're timeless nature spirits who have actually maybe the Pokemon war actually was a war that the Pokemon started. I've been thinking about this. Okay, okay. So the Pokemon decided that humanity were warlike and they couldn't best humanity in a fight. And so they taught humans how to uh, Pokemon battle and uh, that was how they started the Pokemon Wars. The whole thing was orchestrated to get humans to fight themselves, to thin their own numbers. And now, after the world has been destroyed, the GPG, uh, a coalition of Pokemon using their powers to control the human mind, uh, they have uh, created this paradise where people just wander around and fight with Pokemon, live in bug world, share fandoms with their children, and no one ever thinks about where they came from or where they're going or who they really are. Why? Because they're slaves. That's what happens when you give up to instant gratification. The you humans, give it all up. The humans are the slaves of the Pokemon. That's the Act 2 twist in this anime. Episode 19. <clears throat> I like it. Where do I sign up? I mean, technically, you both have already a long time ago. Yeah, technically, you don't have a choice. I mean, you do. I just don't want you guys to realize it. No, the po I mean, the Pokemon is. You know, oh, the right, Pokemon. the Pokemon. Yes, of course. <laughs> 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 Speaking of Mario, have you ever heard of that Nightmare ROM? It's some kind of like creepypasta. No. Oh, man. Sounds interesting. I actually, our Master of Ceremonies was the one who initially got me into creepypastas of that sort. And um, not going to lie, it's been quite an enjoyable trip uh, down uh, a rabbit hole of media. Uh, I think I showed both of you the back rooms. Yeah, totally. Oh, man. Never heard of it, but uh, it was phenomenal. 
they uh god i lost my entire train of thought on that it'll come to me oh right the creepy pastas mario brothers uh, the the alleged story centers around this ROM for uh, Super Mario Brothers that is somehow randomized for everyone. Everyone, uh, according to this myth, got their own personalized version of Mario sixty four, and this ROM is somehow corrupted to where you're just stuck in this sort of horror loop. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the loop is that makes this so frightening. Oh, well, essentially, uh, you, you, you go, you start off at the castle and, uh, you initially, there's no trees. There's just the castle and the picture of toadstool and you run in there and you go into the first level and the music's a bit off. But then when you get to the end of the level, you're immediately thrown back to the beginning of the game but each time you go back to the very start outside the castle, a little bit more of it is missing until eventually mm. it's just, you know, a door and a big wall with no carpet, no mosaic, no nothing. Um, you go into the castle, same thing. The picture starts getting further and further away uh, and smaller and smaller uh, within the sky that takes up more and more of the picture. And then eventually when you start going to that world, more and more stuff is missing until it's completely pitch black and a voice says get out and then a timer starts it sounds super cool yeah i'll have to send it to you guys or or show it to you or something you can actually uh, show people things through the stream in here if i somehow become less bad at it but um it's he goes up to the top of the mountain and encounters like a a shadow mario he gets a game over sequence Uh, there's a whole series someone did where they've i guess done a combination of video game rom editing and uh quote-unquote interactive storytelling you know that whole trope of it seemed like a weird glitch but i just kept playing or it seems if it looks weird here, I started to get a headache playing the game and it's like my nose started bleeding when I beat this boss. Right. Okay. Yeah, like that that suddenly like dropped off from the realm of believable. Oh, it, it was never meant to be believable. I mean, copy pastas, creepy pastas. It's all about, you know. It's like when you're watching a story about Sasquatch or UFOs, you just sort of suspend your disbelief and go along for the journey. And once you're done, you go, oh, okay, this is, I'll use my reasonable, my rational mind, my analytical mind moving forward, thinking about it in reverse. But uh, for now, I'm just going to enjoy the experience. Kind of like a Pokemon experience. It reminds me a little bit of the story of like the first uh, self-conscious AI uh, on something awful. Like this was like twenty some, almost twenty years ago or something. This old story about the robot that you would yell "Achtung," which is like German for warning or look out, caution. <laughs> uh, it pushed its owner down the stairs based on a misunderstanding of commands. <laughs> the whole story's fake but like it, yeah, it was pretty funny it, it was entertaining but I don't even know is something awful even a website is that a thing I think it should be I'm still up right now. I haven't looked in ages or was it maybe rotten.com no, I think that was just the weird viscera gore places. Oh, look, at least these craters are on the outside and not in caves this time. The Something the developers must more. have tried really, really stretched themselves for the GPG here. Hey, they're still here. All right. I wonder if GBS forum still exists gentlemen being serious 
Never heard of that one. Which one? Gentleman being serious. That was a. Uh, I came into that group because I was playing a game called um, Astro Empires. And uh, there wasn't enough root. Like, we had, like, fucking five guilds running at the same time in unison. And the, the, the one of the five that I ended up in was Gentlemen Being Serious. I, I didn't realize that there were, like, branches like that at first. Oh, I thought Gentlemen Being Serious was some sort of sketch comedy troupe. Uh, on like a it's website, not a comedy troupe. It's just like you know, a forum. A bunch of people post a lot of memes and shit. Oh, okay. Huh. Very, very open to to being a community of putting other people down. So the internet. Yeah. Okay. It was okay if you wanted to like flip out about someone making fun of you. Like that was kind of like the entertainment that was like people were like oh look this dude's losing his shit and then people be like really and it's like yeah come check it out they're on this chat right now like it was, it was, it was that kind of a thing it was very uh, I don't know it was internet yeah very internet hmm Sorry, dude. I started rambling because Cynthia walked up to me and started talking to me about these Psyducks and her grandma in some town, and I just I couldn't keep a straight thought. I was like, "What's going on? Why is she talking to me?" Oh no, it's God, fine. I feel like tonight's definitely going to be the more scattered of the casts, to be sure. Now she wants me to go talk to her grandma. Like, dude, aren't you like 20 years older than me, Cynthia? I'm like a 10-year-old Pokemon trainer, and you're like the region champion. <sighs> that seems to be the topic today. I guess. I was trying to move us away to something else. Sorry, it's not my fault. <laughs> No, I mean it's not your fault. That is true. But Cynthia, I don't I don't think there's anything that one could read into there. She seems more or less, you know. More into statues and people. I was gonna say just not a pedophile, but sure. I mean, I brought this on myself when I started making the Zuckerberg Epstein Island jokes. So at this point, I guess I'm just going to have to accept it. I mean, or you could be a true American and blame someone else for it. Because I'm proud to be an American where I don't think anything's my fault. Yep, I'm gonna you. take all the world's candy and put it in a vault. And I will only eat Hershey's bars and burn the rest away. Fuck all you trick-or-treaters, I love the USA. That's pretty good. Thanks. I struggled a little bit with it. A little bit, but you found your footing. <laughs> well, if it's been audited by the Master of Ceremonies, I have to approve it. I, I, okay. So I'll let you perform, um, you know, uh, an opening ceremony performance if you'd like but I get final say on what you know what my town's uh, official sound, like official you know song I guess the official town song. can it be like a can like the opening ceremony have like a hundred people up on the stage, 50 on the left side of a wall, 50 on the right side of the wall. Both sides have trap doors above a shark tank, which is literally a giant saltwater fish tank with sharks. Uh, laser beams are up to you. I don't really care about that. Um, is, there, and, uh, is there a Pokemon? Okay. 
that's that's a shark or essentially a shark. Shark pedo. Shark seriously? That's the Pokemon's name. That is a Pokemon. I didn't know about it. Someone was telling, pushing on me, like the idea of using a, a rain dance team with all water Pokemon, and they like sent me the Pokemon that I should be like, like not good versions of the Pokemon that I should be looking for or trying to breed. And Sharkpedo was on the team. Wow, I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> very, very fitting name for tonight. Uh... <laughs> Um, I think it's supposed to be a torpedo and a shark, not a shark that's a pedophile. But I mean, no, I guess all bets are off now. We just don't know anymore. I guess. Hey man, I, I, I told you, I told you, Jasper, this stuff's not my fault. I didn't make that Pokemon up. <laughs> like, that's that a shark, real Pokemon. <laughs> that, that Pokemon, that Pokemon shark's looking left and right nervously, like, yeah, yeah, shark and torpedo, yeah. That is. I don't even know. Hang on. Does he evolve, or is that like his only evolution? Hang on. Who the shark I don't know pedophile? If it'll me. Yeah, the shark pedophile. I like, yeah, I kind of feel, I feel like, like once you hit shark, that, it's a dead end. Yeah, yeah. Once a shark pedo, always a shark pedo. <laughs> God, if anyone's at fault, it's whoever hired that teacher. <laughs> The parents. <laughs> oh, he does evolve. He has a pre-evolution. She moved into the same apartment complex as her student. So yes, the parents had to be not paying attention in some way. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm very how, how many this. how many times have you heard the story of the parents that just? give their kid a video game system and put them on Fortnite so that they don't have to deal with the kid, educate the kid, anything the kid. Yeah, no, I mean, that's exactly what caused this. Oh, great, you just lost us a viewer. <laughs> no, that's fine, I lost us one earlier. This isn't about views. They were probably a parent. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is. I mean, it kind of is, though. <laughs> no, that it really is about views. It's entirely about views. If a Pokemon oh. experience happens in the woods and no one sees it, does it get an award? If you find a Scyther in the woods... Oh my goodness, I gotta throw a quick ball at it. Okay, so Ooh, uh, new, new stance. We are pro-Fortnite. We are mixed on teachers banging students. <laughs> Fortnite, uh, I can I'm accept mixed, easy. I'm mixed Fortnite, and I'm kind. I'm against adults banging kids, for sure. Like, <laughs> I mean, dr drama, I'm against teachers banging students, too, but we have to play it like safe to make sure we don't alienate the Twitch viewers. We're, we're bleeding viewers left and right talking about Fortnite. I don't know. Maybe it's the teacher's thing that upsets them. <laughs> They're like, I my like teacher it, didn't do that for me. I feel like it's the Fortnite, honestly. I mean, I've, I've seen kid, my boss's kid play Fortnite. It seems fine. It's just more, again, it should be a safe space for the students. It, it's, like, it's like when we were kids, okay? And all the teachers found our blogs, all right? Like wasn't a good thing we didn't like it yeah. and suddenly they tried to figure out who we all were i mean that's a little creepy you shouldn't really be that interested in the inner life of your students teach them math maybe, maybe. <laughs> like social emotional learning you have to fill out this form to tell me about why you're depressed and what you feel and what your parents medications are and who do they vote for and are they with the resistance do they question <laughs> the gpg trying to put chemtrails and everything do they complain about the dye in the water making it taste weird hello how are you today what were you doing last night they do. They make the kids fill out these forms. That's just like the same thing you would do for psychology intake. It's like, why are you anxious about math? I don't know. Maybe because you don't know how to teach them math. And they're terrified about the future. 
because you're failing them and they can see it happening in real time? I mean, that's possible, but we don't want to talk about it and acknowledge it because what about parent teacher night? Who's going to do the fucking taquitos and the, the kolaches and you know, that that's more important. Where who's going to fund our wine fund. Oh, I assure you, I am going to be a blast at parent teacher night. Can you imagine me at parent teacher night? I, oh, I, I think I could. <laughs> God, I can't wait for I can it. Imagine, I can imagine you getting kicked out and barred from parent teacher yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I pay them. Right, right. I'm paying them to do a better job of teaching my child than me. I can see the upcoming court case regarding parent teacher <laughs> You call that an analysis of Wuthering Heights? <laughs> you peasant, you're not fit to teach my child. Come along, Bertram. You're going to be homeschooled. <laughs> With your beautiful, you're going to be homeschooled by your beautiful pog mother. And we're going to have to no, block Pornhub because I've noticed it. them adding a lot of weird shit there. Ignore the fact that she doesn't have lips. Who? The pod mother. Oh, pog. No, fat ass white girl. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, no, no, no. The pod mother? Like I just like I just stick my dick in a box and like it just regurgitates a child. And over time I like put like carpeting or like a wig on it, like those monkey experiments, and the kid just no, Jesus, I'll just find a normal human woman. What is in what's going on in this forest? There's like Scythers and Mr. Mimes jumping out at me. I mean, it's interesting. Is it interesting or troubling? Wait, Scythers in a cave? It, no, it's not a cave. It's just, uh, uh, remember where the uh, there's four Psyducks blocking the road in Sinnoh? Those, the, the grass area right behind them. There's a bunch right now, I guess because it's evening and there's different Pokemon in the day than there is during the night. There's just Scythers. The only thing I'm seeing is Scythers and Mr. Mimes. <sighs> you think I'm going to take a break here and just try to catch a Scyther? No, it's okay. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to find that to be a nice change of pace because I'll take the hit to the hard-hitting content at this moment because um, I don't know how much more Miss Teacher bangs a boy I can take, honestly. Yeah, yeah. At least no one, I haven't heard anybody saying that the teacher or the boy are a hero. Yeah, but they're not really punishing her either. Yeah. I agree, they're not. I, I don't think that it was punishment. a three year. Well, I mean, I feel again, if if we lived in the same world, a three year sexual relationship with someone who's 12 to 15 would be punishment in and of itself because you would not be able to stand <laughs> it or get it up or do anything. It would be like one of those scenes in our American horror story where you're just stuck working retail to a bunch of people who remember that one, you know, greatest hits album you did or whatever. It, it would be its own hell and its own making, but it's not. It's fun for them because they're broken. Yeah. They need some uh, serotonin inhibitors or some shit to justify the claim that they're fucked up. No, those things are terrible. They destroy your brain. I mean, maybe that should be the punishment. Uh, I don't know. You I like don't... boys. You get a destroyed <laughs> brain. Actually, wait. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm starting to like this. So we would make all of these weird SSRI drugs a sort of punishment for those who commit the crimes rather than treating, you know, people who are lost and looking for something. I like this. Okay, go on. I mean, in a way, it would even make the, when they become prisoners in the prison system, it'll make them a lot more cooperative. <laughs> we're, we're all in the prison system. The prison planet system. Yeah, but I'm talking about the special prison system where they give you colored uniforms because those are the special prison systems. It's uniforms of color. I'm going to break oh. these. I'm going to tell you the truth because that's the kind of guy I am. 
You're not special enough to be in the special prison uniforms. Oh, Sorry. you mean you mean Korea? Yeah. <laughs> See, but Korea, uniform. Korea took it to the next level, and they made their whole state uh, a prison. The, the entirety of everything, all of it. I don't think they're the one who made it that. I think it's like one specific family that just fucked that country for generations. I mean, it, that family refers to them in the uh, omnipotent plural. Honestly, I would say, like, this is probably an unpopular take, but I would say that Kim Jong un, normal <laughs> current leader guy, is probably the. Uh, the closest one to maybe a good guy. Uh, he's just currently stuck in such a weird position where he has a military that hates him, a people that don't yeah, respect if him. He, if he stops moving forward, they will kill him. Yeah. If he looks back for one second. <laughs> what he needs is a parachute out of there. He needs He needs more Dennis Rodman in his life. Oh, right. That was the basketeer who went to North Korea a lot. I've never heard anybody call it that. I don't. What What is it supposed to be? What? Uh, he's a basketball player, I guess. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Point. But I love basketeer. <laughs> that brings this aspect of like, almost like he weaves baskets who is this Dennis Rodman Michael? Is he a some sort of basketeer? Does he does he does he hop with the rhythm and spoken word? Michael has to lie to his mom and keep up the charade that his best friend Dennis Rodman is a basket weaver <laughs> instead of a basketball player because she she would be like, oh no, he's tall, he's black, he plays basketball. I don't know, I don't know. She gets scared. Grandma doesn't understand. She's not with the times. Uh, Grandma's not supposed to understand. Grandma's 98. Grandma remembers the depression. Grandma just wants to be quiet. Grandma gets to relax yeah. now. You're That's lucky because I thought, I thought everybody was, Grandma was going to be like mine and she was going to be the depression, not remember the depression. I mean, I assume I by do? that age, everyone's depressed. I mean... My my grandparents, personally, are far, far too deceased to be depressed. <laughs> oh, I see. They gave up. <laughs> not, not so much. Um, one would say life gave up on them, really. They, they all <laughs> stuck it out. No, see, I'm going to make it to where when I die, it's going to be life had to fire me. <laughs> Become ungovernable. Ooh, that looks like a poker ball. And we like to pick those guys up. A red shard. Oh, God. The, the collectors, every... Every time they they update the sprites for the collector Pokemon trainer battles, I just it smells like a Magic the Gathering tournament. Oh, oh, oh! The the yeah, I know who, who you're talking about now. It's like they I always have I glasses. Taste though, the sinus don't they? medication. Like I don't know why. I remember the collectors always having glasses. Honestly, that was the... Yeah, yeah, he's got glasses here, too. And a weird utility belt. Oh, he's out here with this chick that he is definitely just friends with. Mm. 
Oh God, but she's a psychic, so she knows everything that he's thinking about him. Yay. God, what a manipulative bitch. It sounds like he's into it. Oh, they're both into it. They're always into it. That's how simping works. It's just sad to see. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. I'm not familiar with the fog mechanic. What's going on here? Can I I'm not s- land an wait. attack in fog? Wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Hocus. I don't want to cut you off. Master of Ceremonies. I'm sorry. I need... Um. There's a pig Pokemon bouncing around in front of me with the gigantic ball in its head, and it's called Spoink. Point. It's psychic type. That's horrible. <laughs> it's a horrible name for a Pokemon. It just it. Uh... So now we have petting your Persian, spanking your Spoink. We're gonna need a third one. That's how this works. Just okay. Uh, enough. Get it out of my sight. And never ever darken my hall with it again, you harlot. <laughs> it's fine. She's psychic. She knows I mean it ironically. God, why are there so many oceans? It's almost like this is a giant island or something. Wait, how did I? Did I go in a? Did I go in a circle? Oh, Lord. I might actually have to check. A map? Oh, um, my goodness. You know, as a man, I am came and capable of doing this. All women are disappointed in your manliness if you look at a map, apparently. <sighs> well, you know what? They, they won't be able to stop themselves from saying something, though. That, that's always the truth. I mean, I didn't, I didn't start streaming to impress women. Well, thank God for that. What do you mean? I'm looking for a wife by by joining your stream. I That's... thought this was the place to go. Okay, well, I look forward to your med- marriage to a federal agent any day now. Yeah. She's going to use me. She's going to have to pay me because she's going to use me to catch criminals. She's going to be like, he's oblivious. We'll use them to set up a trap. I mean, that is true. There's been a couple of times where I've wondered, okay, person on the internet whom I met who seems interested in me, are you a federal agent? You gonna try to get me to like... I mean, no. I mean, you just never know. It's true. Live with the uncertainty. Like of my I, I wouldn't I wouldn't think that I'm relevant enough to warrant that, but I am irrelevant enough to warrant being some guy that they seduce and then like convince to kidnap the governor or something. <laughs> Manchurian candidate. <laughs> or like that guy in Michigan. Uh The Michiganian candidate. <laughs> it's Mr. Mime. He keeps using Ogcore. I don't want to kill him. I'm trying to catch him. I guess we're just going to run away. Oh no, I've made a huge mistake. What'd you do? Oh no, no, no. It's fine, I think I can take the bike road. Did you overlevel a Pokemon that is a TM slave? 
Oh no. Or HM sleeve. No, no, nothing like that. I just, I just stupidly jumped over the edge of a cliff. That's all. Story of my life. Story of his life. The story of his life. You just need, you just need like a good old Roger to put some adversity in your life and like a patty mayonnaise to distract you from the horrible things. You need a theme song to like several theme songs. This is yeah. Uh... The, you need a theme song with the Bidoof noise. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Oh doof 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 Close enough. It's the right amount of disappointing. I couldn't find the clip, so I was trying to find the best approximation as as possible. I mean, it literally is just the most, like... I don't want to say retarded, but it's Japanese, so I know they would be fine saying retardy or whatever. I don't know. It's not my fault. It's theirs. Do you think that you two could keep watch while I go grab a soda? Sure. Yeah. All right. It's okay if you drop a ball, just don't drop all of them. I like how right. we're keeping watch like uh, like orcs may invade at any moment. Right, right. We, you never know if like a controversial, angry teacher is going to like jump in here and start yelling at you guys. So just, you know, keep watch. Again, point. if there's yeah. any teachers on Twitch, they shouldn't be on Twitch. They should be working on their fucking lesson plans. Well, we should definitely protect ourselves from known pedophiles since apparently they're not getting, like, real jail sentences anymore. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, there's another one who, oh, yeah, I think I already mentioned it, another one who's, like, less than 20 years into his stint, and he's already being released. Yeah, that's awesome. Naturally. Yeah, I wish there was some way to spin that into something funny, but uh, it's okay. I'm thinking if things get too, uh, if we can't recover things, we'll uh, we'll break early at uh, at midnight, and then I'll um, and then I'll start the uh, I'll start the. Uh, the second stream after a 10, 15 minute break. Yeah, that sounds about right. Give me some time to make some coffee. Yeah. Change my pitch up. <laughs> oh, you know, I mean, it is, again, I'm just hoeing around. I've never, never played this version. I have no idea where to go. I thought I knew where I was going, and then suddenly I didn't. And I think I'm going to have to. have to backtrack quite a considerable amount uh, just to get back to where I need to be, which is a touch tragic, I presume. But let's see, is it this way? No, this is the way I just came from. Hmm. Yeah, yes. What, what do you say, Master of Ceremonies? I'll let you be the one to call it. Should we... Uh, should we take a quick break and uh, meet back again yeah, for part yeah. two? Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you all for listening. This is MC Drama reminding you that if you would like to continue to listen, we will be back in 10 to 15 minutes. And if you're a teacher, don't fuck your students, all right? I mean, Jesus, it shouldn't be that hard. Let's go further, okay, to all of the adults. Don't have sex with children. That's a really bad thing. Thank you. I wash my hands.
God bless the water of the toilet. I wash my hands in the beauty of your tears. And every time I see you smile, I feel like I feel like drowning in the Nile. Yeah, that's her, her.